So Dr. Umar Johnson, he has, I guess, decided in his mind he's going to be uh, the poster child of trying to police who black men date. And someone, now Umar didn't post this himself, at least on Twitter, but he did You post this on Instagram. And as you can see here, he says, I just learned that Snow Bunny fraternity member Shannon Sharp got smoked for black folk who don't approve of interracial marriage. He says, perhaps him and his handler Skip Bayless would like a live debate on Undisputed to settle the matter with Prince if and tune day live on ESPN television, just name the date and time. Well, first of all, you're going to offend the man when you say he has a handler. You don't have, you don't have no proof of him having a handler. You don't have no proof of that at all, but you, you started with Shannon Sharp, bro. You started with him right now on the clips here. He has Serena with well, Serena doesn't bother anybody whatsoever. She really don't. I had never heard Serena say nothing bad about black men. So I don't even include her in those conversations. Megan Markle. She's never said nothing bad about black men or black people. Why would you put her in it? I'm just looking at the photos he's using. I know the brother, uh, what show that brother was on. I know he got, I never heard that brother. Uh, I know the brother, I know the brother face, but I just, his name is, is, is missing me. I never heard him say nothing bad about black people. Right. At all. Why are you putting him in it? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like the people you use and have never really had a history of trashing black people. Shannon Sharp either. I haven't heard him just trashing black people like that, but Umar, you know, he, he, he feel that this, this is his lot in life now. I think he's, it's, it's kind of sad because he's, he's little, you know, he, I think this is beneath him personally troll. I think it's a trolling tactic to get attention because I don't know any educator is focused on who black people or black men in particular with him, especially black men are dating. Um, they're focused on their tenure at universities. Um, they, they're focused on if they're building a school, they will be focusing on that, getting that school open. And, and we, we going to talk about that school a little bit, you know, definitely in this, but Shannon Sharp responding to Umar Johnson. I really disagree with that, but let's read it. He says, Shannon Sharp, don't give a F what Umar Johnson and others think about what he or other people date. He said, that's the problem. You're worrying about other people. He said, I'm not harming, bothering you or taking money out your pockets. He said, now stay the F off my timeline. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Shannon, he shouldn't have responded like that at all to Umar Johnson because if this is how it comes across. You respond to it in that manner, then this is what they tell you. Well, why did that bother you so much? What he said, see, you, you're not going to win for losing, bro. It's best for you just not to respond to it because you have too big of a platform to be responding to Umar Johnson. Literally. He's trying to get clout off of that. I, I'm pe I'm peeping the game. He's trying to get clout and trying to get money off of black women. Okay. That, that peddles that right now. He said, that's a problem. You worried about other people. He has no choice but to worry about you because let's call it what it is. If Umar Johnson supposed to be the poster child of black marriage, black love, then where is his black wife? Umar Johnson don't have no excuse because he travels all over America. He's been in many African countries. He's been in the Caribbean. He's had more exposure to black women that the, that the normal man really don't have. Umar's like a traveling preacher. Okay. He's everywhere. So where is it his black wife at? That's the question. How is it that you going to be the one attacking everybody? And where is your black spouse? Where is your black woman and your seven or eight kids in, in, in a home that you provide Umar? Where they at? How you all day sitting, if you would take the, the same energy and time worrying about so-called snow bunny fraternity members and focus on getting you a black woman, but the black woman that you did get that people found out about it, you ain't got a doggone stripper. 2015. And I had interviewed the stripper back then. And, and, and you, you no different than any other dude out here that's trying to, trying to chase loose women and, and whoring. You're no different. You know, it's, it's just nothing but a hustle. That's how I look at that, right? Shannon Sharp, 
I've seen that he has black children. So obviously he had relationships with black women, obviously, to have a, his grown daughter's black, matter of fact. I've seen him with Nicole Murphy. You know, she's a black woman. Joy Taylor, isn't she half black? I think she is. Um, or something. She's not white. But they have people, you know, out here like Umar. And then Umar made a response also when people was getting at him about Bronny, right? And what I don't like, and this is why I say I, I certain certain elements in our community I don't deal with. Now, I, I definitely fight against racism, white supremacy, but I'm not going to turn into what I talk about is wrong because Umar had made a statement and I thought about it and I say, what if, what if, what if the white father of that, the, the girl um, that Bronny went to prom with, what if her white father was using the statements like Umar? Cause Umar said that how, how can LeBron let his, let his black son go with a white girl and not a black girl. He also said, how can you know, you let this happen and, and do this in front of black women. Now, if let's take it and then re, let's re, reverse that, right? Let's say the white father of the girl that Bronny went to prom with said that, uh, why is it that his, you know, his daughter, you know, go let's, let's not even use the father. Let me use somebody else. Let's say somebody like Jordan Peterson. That's, that's somebody known in the white community. Jordan Peterson say, how can that white father, allow his white daughter to be going with that black boy and parading uh, that black boy in front of white boys and making white boys feel not good about themselves. Cause she set up there and cause he let her choose a black boy. Now, if he had been saying all that, the people were saying, Oh, he a white supremacist. Oh, look at this racist and all that. But yet it's okay with Umar say it. I'm against racism all day long, but I'm not trying to become it. I'm not trying to sound that way. And my thing is don't complain when white folks do it. If you going to do it, don't complain when white folks do it. It can't be no double standard on racism. Either, either it's, it's wrong or, or, or it's right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why people can't. And then also, I mean, I just don't take him seriously on a whole lot of things that he says. I mean, I think he, he's a good speaker and if he stay in that element. I think he's good. But when he gets into this conversation, I'm like, bro, you can't be in the conversation if you don't even have a black wife yourself because you're going to tell Shannon Sharp something. Well, he could say the same thing. You don't have a black woman either. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What? You can't say much of nothing if you don't have a black wife either. And most of the people talking against Shannon Sharp and others, they don't even have a black wife or husband. They don't. And then some of the conversation, you know, it's the same old conversation. Well, because Shannon Shaw speak on black issues. He's pretty outspoken about it. Well, I can't take him seriously because he, he dates this one. He dates that one. First of all, it doesn't matter who you take seriously. If you don't take him seriously, fine. But no matter who he's with, he looks in the mirror. He's visibly a black man. We clearly see it. He has visible black features. He would never escape being black in America. White America will let Shannon Sharp know every day, you black, bruh, don't you ever forget it, okay? So it don't matter what female he's dating on that. He black. So because he's black and he don't have a black wife, he don't even, he don't even have a white wife, actually. He can't speak on issues that happens to his community. He can't do that. He has a platform that's a major platform, a global platform, and so you're telling me, when something happens to him, uh, it happens in the black community, we don't want him to speak on that issue at all. Well, at one minute, black folks saying these people with bigger platforms should speak up for the community. And then in another sense, well, if he dates a white woman, because he ain't married to one, he shouldn't be speaking up on black issue. Well, 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 which one is going to be? Now, we are the only community that say that crap. Do you know? And we talking about hardcore white supremacists. They have wives that are not white. There's this one proud boy that has a black wife. I, I forgot the guy's name. He have a whole black wife and children. And he and the proud boys, they got white supremacists that have Asian wives and they part of the white supremacist groups, Hispanic wives. And visibly we talking about brown, dark brown skin, Hispanic wives. Some of them have. 
and they still in the white supremacist groups because see the white supremacist, how he feel is you dominate as long as you don't take on their ideology and they take on yours, you are dominating that other culture. You you're conquering the, the, the women of other cultures. That's how the white supremacists think. This is why a white supremacist with a black wife can still be in the proud boys and talk about white supremacy. You understand what I'm saying? That's how they think. They don't tell them, well, you know what? I don't take you seriously because you don't have a white wife. So you can't speak on white issues. They don't, they don't talk like that. That's not how white supremacists think. They believe in conquering and dominating. That's what they believe. So they, so if he's still talking about proud boys and got his black wife, his, his, his Asian wife, his Hispanic wife or whatever he got, they cool with it. Now these start talking about fighting for black issues or fighting for Asian issues or start fighting about uh, Hispanic issues. Then he can't be in the white supremacist groups. You get it? So if you take the same logic of the white supremacist and add it to Shannon Sharp, he would be doing literally the same thing as, as, a, as the white supremacist. He's still speaking up on issues in the black community. But Shannon, if you truly feel that way, bro, let me say this. Stop responding to it. Do you live your life? Umar Johnson and anybody else on the internet can't control who you date, bro. They can't control who you date. If Umar Johnson and the rest of them were so concerned about who black men date, why don't they create dating services why don't they, to, to hook up black people if they're so concerned about that? And people throughout the world, they just not focusing on that sort of thing. They really not. They're not focusing all on that. It's we got way more to be doing in our community to be focusing on that. But like I said, when you got people with nothing but time and not really doing much with their time to be, you know, productive, this is what they work on. This, this is what they work on. This is what they, they do. And then like I said, we've been hearing this conversation like forever. You're not going to stop it. Black women that do it. You're not going to stop them either. You're not. So trying to shame them. You can't shame somebody into anything. You never shame somebody to date you. Why would you want to shame them to date you? If they don't want to date you, just leave them the hell alone. There's so many different brothers out here that want to be with, with sisters. There's so many uh, uh, sisters out here that won't be with black uh, men. The ones that, that don't, for whatever the reason, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. There's millions upon millions of black people you could be dating. The majority of black people are with black people globally. Okay. The majority of black people marry black people globally. So it's no excuse for that. It's no excuse. Now people like Umar Johnson and the rest of these people got nothing going on. They ain't got a freaking thing going on. That's why you sitting up here, you know, listen, y'all talk about Cynthia G all day. Y'all talk about when she makes a her series, who they choose. That's exactly what Umar is doing. Well, Umar, you biting Cynthia G? Not that's what you're doing. You, you're doing your version of who they really choose. I mean, man, Umar, that's what you have lowered yourself to open up that dog on school. Let's talk about that school. You haven't opened up that school. You only have a virtual Academy for that school. Why didn't you start a virtual Academy when they were going through that pandemic? Everybody was doing virtual. You could have started that Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey school virtually for black kids all over the country. And you ain't doing crap doing that. You're not, you're sitting in your car live streaming and talking about who they really choose. Come on, bro. Like, like, listen, I, I, I've been around a hot minute. Uncle Phil been around. I know who you, some people don't know you, but I fully know you. I fully know where you come from. I know how you got started. I even know how, why people started supporting you about the school. People supported you about a freaking school, not know who, who somebody dating. And you never got a full answer about that doggone school. You never got an answer, man. You trying to be what you open up the school, like the movie top gun. The first top gun came out 30 some odd years ago. It's going to take you 30 years to open up the school. Like that's, let's talk about that school. He never want to talk about that school. He never want to talk about that. Ask him about that school instead of who they really choose. Copying Cynthia G. But anyway, Hey, Shannon, don't respond to these people, bro. You got way too big of a platform. Be responding to people. Your friends and family that's around you, if they ask you some questions, cool, talk to them. Whatever answers they may have. I, I, I can tell you just from, from experience, bro, don't talk to people that don't mean you no good. Don't. Your friends, family that love you and appreciate you, fine. 
whatever explanation you want to give to them. And, and, you, and your friends and family don't even ask you stupidity like that. They know you. They know who you are. They know your intentions. They know everything about you for the most part. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it just, like I said, man, it, you know, it, it's Umar really is actually too talented to, to relegate himself to trolling and copying Cynthia G talking about who they really choose.